Hello and welcome to the first video of four videos. Yes, you heard that right, four videos for section 7.3. They're all fairly short, um, but they're each going to be looking at these different kind of formulas. Unfortunately, 7.3 is an entire section that has nothing to do or has nothing but formulas. Uh, we're going to look at the following. We're going to look at double angle formulas. We're going to look at half angles formula. We're going to look at product to sum. And we're going to look at sum to product. So obviously these are our four videos. First one will be double angle, second one half angle, third one product to sum, fourth one sum to product. I'll introduce you to the formulas, show you an application of it. So the first one is our double angle formulas. goes without saying, you will want this on your cheat sheet, and you will definitely want to have these memorized, the double angles for the final. Um, the product to sum, sum to products, I've seen it off and on on the finals, so unfortunately all I can do is tell you you'll have to memorize it. Um, I wish there was a way around it, but there isn't. It's just what they require. They require all this memorization of these formulas. So uh, hopefully by the time the semester is over, you'll have them sort of committed to memory. So it won't be quite as hard a process. But first off for double angles, for sine. Sine of 2x is equal to 2 times sine of x times cosine of x. That one's not too bad. Cosine. So cosine of 2x, we actually have three different possibilities. The first one is cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Now please do not get this confused with our holy grail Pythagorean identity. That was what? That was cosine squared plus sine squared. So the double angle formula for cosine is these guys minus, and it doesn't equal anything. It's just cosine squared minus sine squared. It could also be 1 minus 2 sine squared of x, or 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. These are three different ways to get the value for cosine of 2x, depending on what information you're given in the problem, or if this shows up in a proof, Whichever one is the easiest for you to use, that's which one you would want to choose. And then lastly for tangent, so tangent of 2x is equal to 2 times tangent of x over 1 minus tangent squared of x. So you got these different possibilities, double angle formulas. So let's look at an example. Let's say we have, if cosine of x is negative 2 thirds and x is in quadrant 2, so remember what I said almost the first day of class, if you're given a problem and in the wording of the problem itself it's telling you that it's in some quadrant, first thing I would do is box that or circle it or star it or highlight it or do something so that you know your final answer has to actually lie in quadrant 2. So if cosine of x is equal to negative 2 thirds and is in quadrant 2, we want to find cosine of 2x and sine of 2x. So it's actually two problems here. First thing we got to figure out, second thing we need to figure out. So cosine of 2x, we can choose any one of these formulas, right? 
Well, which one do we want to choose? Well, obviously number three, y. Because we're given what the value of cosine of x is. So we can choose the formula that just has cosine. If I do choose one of these, I need to go and calculate sine, then plug that value in, then do my calculations. This way all I've got to do is plug it in and figure it out. So cosine of 2x is equal to 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. So this is 2 cosine squared would be negative 2 thirds squared. And then I want to subtract 1. So negative 2, th thir negative two thirds squared is what? It's 4 positive 4 ninths. Multiply this by 2. Subtract the 1 from the whole thing. So what do we get? We get 8 ninths minus 1. So 1 is like what? It's like 9 ninths. So we have 8 ninths minus 9 ninths, which is equal to negative 1 ninth. So cosine of 2x, just using, so let's call this ABC, using formula C for cosine of 2x, I plug in my minus 2 thirds, do my calculations, end up with negative 1 ninth. Now for problem number 2, we want to find the sine of 2x. Well, sine of 2x is what? It's 2 times sine of x times cosine of x. I have cosine of x. That was given to me. But what do I need? I need sine of x. How do I figure that out? It's like the first chapters that we did in this semester. What are we going to use? We're going to use um, our Pythagorean identity, which is cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. So cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. Cosine of x is negative 2 thirds plus sine squared x equals 1. So again, this is 4 ninths plus sine squared x is equal to 1. If I subtract 4 ninths from both sides, again, this guy's like 9 ninths. So I get sine squared of x is equal to 9 ninths minus 4 ninths is 5 ninths. If I take square root of both sides, I get sine of x is equal to square root of 5 ninths, which is equal to square root of plus or minus square root of 5 over 3. Now, it told me that x is in quadrant 2. So if that's the case, is sine of x positive or negative in quadrant 2? It's positive, so the value for sine of x that I want to use is plus square root of 5 over 3. So now I can plug these into this formula. So sine of 2x is 2 times sine of x, which is square root of 5 over 3, times cosine of x, which is negative 2 thirds. So this is like 2 over 1. So if I multiply all the numerators, first I have positive times positive times negative, which means my answer is going to be negative. And then 2 times 2 is 4 times square root of 5. So I just get 4 square root of 5 in the numerator. And then the denominator of 1 times 3 times 3, which is 9. So my final answer for sine of 2x would be negative. 4 times square root of 5 over 9. So that is the end of the first video, the introduction to what the double angle formulas are and how do we use them. So come on back, we'll talk about the half angle formulas.